Hello everybody! Everybody's eating blue cheese! Yes, we're having mushroom stuff with blue cheese! Yes, we are! Guess what? I'm going to be doing a, my mushroom stuff with blue cheese and walnuts in the Micro Pro Grill. And so before we... I'll just put that back up here. Hopefully the display will stay up there. Before we go, before we continue, right, before we go on, guess what? It's a launch night to celebrate launch night. Come on. <laughs> yes, it is. You know, I absolutely love a launch. <laughs> absolutely. I love a launch. All right. So when you join Tupperware, I go live in your private Facebook group. And um, so it doesn't matter which group that you're watching this in. You can place an order to help out tonight. The link is either in my bio or it's in the featured section up the top. It doesn't matter where you live uh, on the planet, so long as you've got an Australian delivery address. So any Australian um, business address, residential address, post office box or Australian post parcel locker, Tupperware will deliver that too. As soon as you place your order, it gets electronically whisked away off to Melbourne. Melbourne receives that order and then they pack the order for us. They deliver the order for us. And uh, that's how it works. It's a celebrate good time. Come on. All right. Now, as we go along, if you're if you're first time, long time lurker, you've never commented before, feel free to comment and let me know where you're watching from. If you're um, first time watching, then it can be, a, I can be a little bit um, crazy. <laughs> this is my kitchen, I live here, all right? So uh, feel free to say g'day, let me know where you're watching from, uh, whether you're overseas, you're in Australia, and let me know whose launch party you're watching uh, through for this evening. All right, now what I'll do is I'll take a step out of the shot because if you haven't seen Tupperware for a while, chances are there's a few things that you haven't seen before, right? So you might be going, oh yeah, I'm familiar with those and oh, what's that? Uh, look at the colours on those. I've never seen, oh, is that new? Oh, I remember those. And, oh yeah, mum had those and grandma had, what is that? <laughs> it's the wok that you want. It is the wok you want. <laughs> Honey. All right, let's get into it. All right, I if you haven't seen Tupperware for a while, or even if you have seen Tupperware, you might you might be familiar with this. It's the Micro Pro Grill, right? So anything that you do on the barbecue, this will do in the microwave oven. Yes, it's made out of metal. Yes, it goes into the microwave. Yes, it'll brown a steak. Yes, it will sear a chicken breast. Yes, it will, it browns and sears and crisps, all right? So if you've got crunchy KFC or a crunchy pizza bottom, you can pop that into there, not a worry, right? Now, how it works is, right, there's two pieces to, well, there's actually three pieces. There's a ring that you can get for it. I'll show you. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. There's the ring. <laughs> there's the ring. So you can pop that in there if you're making cakes or eggs or omelettes or pancakes, donuts, whatever it is that you want to pop into there, right? It's 100% silicon. So um, the Tupperware silicon, they don't water it down with any of the ingredients. So if you know anyone with a latex allergy, the Tupperware silicon is ideal for them, all right? So there's the Tupperware silicon around here. You've got the, it's quite a generous footing on there. So it's raised, raised right up off the microwave floor, right? Now, when you lose the instruction booklet, can you see there? <laughs> All the instructions are there. So you don't have to keep looking for the booklet. All right? So, underneath here, Transformers, <laughs> more than meets the eye. Yes, there's a Transformer underneath here. I think they call it a susceptor disc or something. That's underneath there, all right? And it's also underneath here. So what happens is, when that's in the microwave oven, all the energy gets attracted to the top and attracted to the bottom and it heats up, converts to heat energy and it heats up the eterna on the inside up to 220 degrees. All right, so it's like a double-sided, well, it's like a sandwich press. So anything you do in your sandwich press, this will do in the microwave. Anything you do in the toaster, this will do in the microwave. Anything you do in the oven, this can do in the microwave. Anything you do under the grill or on the barbecue, this will do in the microwave, right? It's pretty cool. If you're doing like a steak or a risol or a chop or a T-bone or something like that, see here around the outside? 
all, all the juice goes around the outside, round the outside, round the outside. It gets into the groove, the juice in the groove. Absolutely, all right? So, anyway, I digress. You know what I'm like. Okay, so what I'm going to do is <laughs> just grab the... Actually, have you seen the Tupperware knives? These are brilliant. They're a German stainless steel knife. These are the Mi Mastro Maestro knives. So they're all one piece. They're full tang. All right, now that's the one that nothing will stick to that because of all the little dimples in there. Then you've got this one. This is actually my favourite one right now, and I, I normally use this one. It's my go-to knife, right? Whether you're chopping spring onions or whether you need to hack through a butternut pumpkin, that's the one that's going to help you with that too. If you do have something, you know how sometimes you've got to hold it from both sides and you slice that? That's ideal for that. And it's just a little bit more of a delicate, it's got a pointy blade in there as well. And this is slightly curved, whereas the other two are a straight blade. So, you know, if you do need a curved action to get through cutting things, that's going to be ideal for you. And there's your little up close and personal, the, the paring knife. You know, topping and tailing green beans or getting the green bits off strawberries. Um, you know, Brussels sprouts, anything that's small. Um, basically, a lot of um, a lot of safety uh, features to all the knives, the entire knife set. There's a size knife for whatever job that you've got. All right. So what I'm going to do is, I digress. Let me grab another cutting mat in here. What I've got in here, I've got you know the vent smart containers. I was going through this afternoon trying to find something, and I found this at the back of the fridge. And I went, oh, what's in there? I, it's almost a little bit embarrassing. This mushroom, check it out. Isn't that a gorgeous field mushroom? That's been in my fridge for just over two weeks because I forgot about it. But there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Like, it's like I bought it yesterday. It's absolutely divine. So the VetSmart are definitely a great investment. They really do make your fruits and veggies last three to five times longer than sitting in a plastic bag or a brown paper bag in the bottom of your fridge, right? They're brilliant. Absolutely loving them. So, there's my little mushroom. I am just going to chop the bottom off. There we go, there we go. So, it's going to sit on the micro pro grill. Oh, oh no! <laughs> we've just <laughs> we've ruined it! <laughs> Pretend it's still in one piece. All right, so there we go. We've got our mushroom bits into here. Then what I've got, you know when you join Tupperware for the $99 option, this is... What is it? I hear someone say. What is it? What is that? No need to ask. It's a smooth chopperator. It's a smooth chopperator. Absolutely. It's a zero carbon footprint handheld blender. It will chop, whip, mix, blend, fold, churn. Um, it will do all of those things because there is a little... Here's one I prepared earlier. This is your little paddle whisk. So everything your double beaters will do, that will do. You can take the paddle whisk out and you pop the blades in. So that will chop potatoes, carrots, uh, sweet potato, onion, all those sorts of things. So what I'm going to do is mushroom. I chop kale in here to hide the kale from myself. <laughs> I do indeed. Let's move this out of the way. What I'm going to do is we'll grab my favourite knife because I absolutely adore this one. There's the knife. The onion, we're just going to grab that, pop that straight over there. I'm going to just grab half a red onion and we'll peel that. It's like people call it a red onion, but I'm, I swear it's purple, right? <laughs> There's your little salad onion, your red onion, which is great if you do want to eat it raw, you can. But we're going to pop it into the micro pro grill. This is my blue cheese walnut red onion stuffed mushroom. Absolutely gorgeous, right? We're just going to chop that into chunks and we will pop that straight into there. Right? Now, I want that onion really small, quite fine, okay? So, what you do is, if you haven't been to the gym today, this is perfect for you, right? <laughs> You've got to get those bingo wings flexing, right? <laughs> those tuck shop lady arms going. Pop on your favourite Spotify playlist and away you go, right? <laughs> Simple as, right? Just a few pulls of the cord and look at that. There's my red onion, finely diced, roughly chopped or finely diced. Um, absolutely gorgeous, right? So now what I'm going to do is, I've got my, my walnuts, I was actually, can you see that? I've got my walnuts, I love the Modular Mate mini rectangles, these are the OG in food storage, the original food storage containers that Tupperware have been creating um, for 40 years, these are the Modular Mates for the pantry, alright, ideal for the pantry storage, so, 
I just got a big bag of walnuts. That's gonna fit, I love it. That fits into here perfectly. And I can seal that because of the seal that looks like an upside down paint lid, that's now gonna last in my pantry, that'll last for up to 12 months. And you won't get creepy crawlies, it'll keep all the bugs out, it'll keep the freshness in. <laughs> but now there's no bugs inside. All right. <laughs> You know, I'd burst into song every now and again. We're just going to throw in a couple of handfuls of walnuts. And we will pop the top onto there. <laughs> but now there's no bugs inside. There's no pantry moss to hide. I'm keeping well fed. All right, a few pulls of that. There's my walnuts. Can you see that? Walnuts, red onion, absolutely gorgeous, delicious. And now what we'll do is, everybody's eating blue cheese. Now, I love blue cheese, right? And when you combine it with the sweetness of the red onion, you've got the texture of the walnuts, all on this beautiful field mushroom that we're going to pop into the Micro Pro Grill, it's going to be absolutely divine. I've softened this, so it's been sitting in, what I'll do is, I will just chop that in half. It's literally been, look how gooey that is, absolutely yum, right? I'm just going to pop that whole lot straight into there. Absolutely divine. It's going to be yum Oh, you You've got the saltiness of the blue, the sweetness of the red onion. You've got that walnut texture happening, high protein on the mushroom. And we will, you can, if you've got um, parsley or some thyme, or some oregano, you might want to throw that in as well. What I'm going to do is, ah, delicious. Look at this, absolutely. Restaurant quality food at home. So we've got that there, look at that. Where is my spatula? Here we go. Let me show you this, absolutely gorgeous. That's the blue cheese, the red onion, the walnut. If I had parsley, I'd probably throw that through there as well. All I'm going to do, there's my field mushroom that I've got happening in here. I'm just gonna whack this straight into here. Absolutely yum Oh, And then, if I do have any left over, which I purposely made lots so that I could have some over the weekend, and I can serve that with, on a steak, or on a chicken breast, I can have that um, with a salad, I can do, if I'm doing, um, oh, look at that, that's just absolutely divine. Look, oh, look, there's some over there, I've gotta remove it. There we go. There it is there, right? Now what I'm going to do, where's my walnuts? We'll pop them aside. Now what I'm going to do is, you know when you join for the $99 option, they give you the freezer container, they give you this one here for the pantry that I've got my panko breadcrumbs in. Then they give you this one here, I've got my grated cheese in there. Then they also give you this one for your fruit and veggies, I've got my lettuce in there. They give you this one here too, and you get the supersonic chopper, or you know what else you can get? For $39.95, you can get this option. This is while stops last, right? So um, this is like everything you do on the saucepan on the stove, this will do in the microwave. It's made out of a product called Microtherm, and that's unique to Tupperware. So you know how normally when you pop something into the microwave oven, You've got to heat the, heat the bowl up or heat the plate up first, and then you've got to heat whatever food is, you know, sitting on the plate or on, in the bowl. This is the opposite. So it's like, flip it upside down, Miss Jane. <laughs> that never gets hot because of the microtherm that it's made out of. It is unique to Tupperware. And so it go, the, the food gets um, cooked quicker or reheated qu cook quicker. This is my butter dish that I use. I just use a clear mix. This is the one that comes in the $99 option. So we've got that there. I'm just going to, where is my, don't know where the spoon is, but that's okay. Let's just do a decent amount of butter into here. I'm just going to melt this into the microwave just for 30 seconds. And then while that's doing that into there, I'm just going to combine some. Let me just show you. I'm just going to combine just a little bit of panko breadcrumb. Oh, I don't know, about a quarter of a cup, maybe? Because all I'm going to do is just top that, okay? So, 
Got some bread, panko breadcrumbs happening into there. Oh, there we go. There's my melted butter, 30 seconds. We'll pour that straight into there. And we will also grab just a little bit of cheese, a little bit of grated cheese happening into here. Don't buy grated cheese um, that's already pre-grated. There's an anti-caking agent in it. Don't eat that. <laughs> just just um, buy a block cheese, grate half of it, pop it into here. In my fridge, that's going to last between 8 and 10 weeks. All right? Then all we have to do is we just combine that straight into here. I might, actually, I might just get some mixed herbs. Woohoo! We've got some mixed herbs in my Tupperware spice containers. Ideal. Keeps the freshness in. You know, 12 months later, your mixed herbs still smell like mixed herbs. It doesn't look like grass shavings. Right? <laughs> We've got that over there. We've got this happening here. I'm just going to pour some of that on. Oh, how divine is that going to be? You just squash it down a little bit. How delicious is that? If you had some chilli flakes, you might want to pop some chilli over there if you like um, a bit of chilli onto that. How delicious is that? It's my mushroom. I've got blue cheese, red onion, walnuts, the topped with some panko breadcrumbs and some grated cheese, a little bit of melted butter to combine it, some mixed herbs. If I wanted to, they shout it out, it's all yours. Paprika, 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 yeah, yeah. Just a bit of paprika on the top. That helps give it that smokiness. And that's going to really, absolutely complement the salty blue cheese, the sweet red onion, the crunchy walnut. I've got my mushroom that's going to taste absolutely divine. I've got my melted butter happening into there. And all I'm going to do now is just pop that onto the grill, into the casserole position, right? And I'm just going to pop that in just to warm it through, and I'll pop it on for, oh, I don't know, I've got 11 minutes. I've got a really low wattage microwave, so my microwave takes a few minutes longer than everybody else's, right? While that's in there, let me just move this out of the way. While that's in there, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you how I'm going to do my veggies in my pressure cooker, because I'm doing like, it's a mash, it is a monster mash. I'm going to do my monster mash, I'll show you, I've got two of them. Just briefly. Now, when you have an online Tupperware party to help whoever's happening tonight, right? Whoever's launch party you're watching, we are looking for two, a minimum of two party bookings. Some people have already got one and only need one more, right? You can choose anything as a reward. On top of your level one reward, you can go for this for 70% off. Or when you join Tupperware, you can actually get this for free, right? <laughs> How awesome is that? This is the Tupperware pressure cooker. Everything your slow cooker takes four to eight hours to do, this will take 20 to 30 minutes. I kid you not. Whether I can do a whole chicken in 30 minutes. I, if you saw a couple of weeks ago, I did a whole chook, 30 minutes, right? Whether you're doing pulled pork, silver side, um, spag bog, seafood risotto, pumpkin risotto, I've done um, chicken soup, uh, apricot chicken, curried sausages. Uh, whether you're doing what I make my own homemade stock in here as well, right? So all I'm doing is just going to chop this up. There's some parsnip. Just I'm a <laughs> as you can, if you know if you've been watching, you know what type of cook I am. You just basically um, you don't really cook with Tupperware. You assemble. <laughs> so that's that in there. I've got some potatoes. We'll just halve them. There we go. We'll pop them straight into there. And there is a turnip and a swede. Sweet carrot lime, plum, plum, plum. Good times never seem so good. There it is. We'll just chop that up into chunks. All right. Now, that is literally all of my veggies. I'm going to pressure cooker my meal, right? So all I'm going to do is add 150 mils of water to this. And I'm going to pop the top on. And it's going to cook for... Um, between 20 and 30 minutes, I might put that on for the whole 30 minutes because I've got a low wattage. In your microwave, it might only take 20 minutes, all right? So it just depends. If you do get stuck, all the instructions are here and it comes with an e-recipe book. And I've got a bucket load of recipes that I've been collecting over the years. I've been doing Tupperware almost 30 years. And um, I would, we were in Macau when they released this to us in China on a Tupperware trip. And so... Um, 
you too can come on a Tupperware trip. At, we're qualifying right now to go to Bali. <laughs> so come and join Tupperware with me. You can come to Bali too. Let me just pop a 150 mils of water straight into here, which is basically a half a cup of water plus about a tablespoon. You just pop that straight into here, line up the arrows, click that in, and instead of four to eight hours in your slow cooker, this is gonna take 20 to 30 minutes. I do an eight minute chocolate Tim Tam cake in here that takes eight minutes. It's delicious. All right, I've got this in here. I will <laughs> pop that into the other second microwave in just a moment. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please let me know. Have a think about uh, joining Tupperware. Have a think about having an online party to help out tonight. And have a think about placing an order that's definitely gonna help out tonight as well. I'm now going to pop online and if you're on Facebook, I'm going to be madly chatting to everybody in whatever group you're watching this on. If you're on TikTok, stick around because I'll be watching and uh, answering your questions in there as well. If you're watching this on my Tupperware Pete Facebook profile, I'll answer those questions in there as well. Jot down the questions, I'll pop down now and, um, and answer everybody. And uh, there's a lot going on, so make sure you click the link, have a look at the offers section, have a look around, and, uh, and then we'll have a little bit of fun. Now, oh, hang on. You know what I've done? I've gone and done it again. If you've been watching closely, you will know what I have forgotten. Can you pick it? Do you know what I've forgotten? I forgot my troubles and I'm happy And the dance only cares away I shouted and got happy I'll see you all another day <laughs> Thank you all for watching everybody I'll answer your questions right now Thanks mate Bye.